Hi everyone, my name is Andres, and today we are going to download FaceApp uh, from the Google Play Store, and I will be demonstrating how to use FaceApp's basic functions to transform your photos, um, particularly your face. Um, now, FaceApp, what it is, is an app that has different filters, um, each representing um, a different type of change that it will make. Um, some filters make you older. Um, some filters make you younger. Um, these filters are just one of many possibilities, of course, of how you would look like if you were to become older and provide a very, very detailed and accurate representation of that possibility. So without further ado, we're going to go over how to download FaceApp. Um, now we're going to start by going to the Google Play Store to locate what it is exactly uh, that we'll be trying to find and it looks like it's right here so we're going to select it. Um, you can also search for it by searching face app and if you search face app it will appear right there. You want to select that you'd like to install the product. We're going to wait for it to load and here we have it. So now we have FaceApp on our phones. These are just some advertisements as to what you can do with it. Here it seems that they're using some form of uh, 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 increasing the detail of, you know, of the actual shades um, and focusing more on the different contours as you can see that you know between the one in the circle it is it has more blemishes um, the skin looks more pale while the while the um, filter that they're using on this page is highlighting the contours um, highlighting the different shades in the face um, to make the face more pronounced here's an example of what it can do it does look a lot more um, uh, kind of uh, made up with or perhaps enhanced as far as um, the actual health of the face is concerned. And of course, there are other filters to change your hair color, um, to change your um, hairstyle, and even to change gender. Uh, it, there is a lot of different um, uh, filters that they provide for you. Now, here it's asking um, if there is any uh, problem in them using a cloud photo processor. What that means is that when you use FaceApp, and if I were to up to use FaceApp to transform my face, um, it gets uploaded to uh, a data bank in their in FaceApp's company so they have access to our photos. Now, the, of course, we're going to allow the phone to access our photos. I don't have any photos right now, um, but that is okay. We'll, we will go into, um, you know, the different um, uh, selections that we have here. So let's check out a celeb. Um, let's use let's see who should we use?
Let's use Chris Pratt. Let's see here. Now, a good photo to use here for FaceApp is one where they're looking directly at the camera. You don't want to manipulate a photo where there are, um, you know, perhaps they're looking away from the camera. Um, you want to use something that shows the whole head um, and not just, you know, part of the head. This one is a good one because his head is tilted. So it'll give a different dynamic when I use it. So here is the picture that we chose. And here are all the filters we can use and all the different options we have. Um, so here, what you want to do is, um, and at this point, once you have selected your picture, you want to select the different types of filters. These are all the filters. These are just, you know, other filters, and here are just um, some different uh, effects that the app provides. So let's say, for example, we want to go into his beard, right? We select beard, and let's say we want to give him a shaved look. When we select shade, it's like he was really shaved. They take the, the app removes the hair um, in the designated areas to make it look like he is shaved, providing an accurate representation of what he looks like when he is not shaved, or rather when he is shaved. If we want to give him a full beard, it will give him a full beard. If we want to give him a goatee, it'll give him a goatee which is almost what he had before. And yeah, that, that's just one of the many different things that you can do if you want to change his hair color. Select black. You, can ha you have a selection of blonde, which he is already blonde, and then brown, and then a reddish tint. And then this is just a mixture of stuff. Now, if we look here, uh, we can make him young again. Uh, we can make him young another way. See the dramatic difference of, of a possibility of how he would look like if he was younger. Here we can make him look old. Huh. And then here we can make him look old as well. Uh, so there are many filters. Of course, these are just possibilities of how they may look. Uh, once you have selected how you would like uh, the actual filter to stay, you can give them a, you want to apply the filter, and then you save the picture. So now we have a picture of a, uh, Chris Bratt, who is a little more in tune. And here we have him again. This was after we did the original modification. If we uh, want to make him old, we can apply that here. We hit apply and save. And now we should be able to see the actual photo in our gallery. And then you can have fun sharing it to Facebook or to Reddit or to Instagram or to Twitter and yeah, that is the end of this tutorial and demonstration. Have an excellent